Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, I just want to highlight the new features that Microsoft plans to expand for devices already running Windows 11 version 24H2 in the coming update. If you already upgraded to Windows 11 version 24H2, you probably notice that not all the features are available. The reason is that Microsoft now rolls out features and faces and gradually. So, okay, let's dive into these details. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. First, Microsoft is updating the phone link experience with a new sidebar on the right side of the start menu, but this will be available in versions 24H2 as well as on version 23H2. As you can see right here, we see the sidebar and the feature is intended to make it easier to interact with your phone, including notifications and access to photos, messages, and calls. However, these are only shortcuts to access specific features inside of the phone link app. For example, if I click on messages, that will actually open the phone link on that specific section. You will see at the bottom that you have the recent activities for messages, photos, and other stuff. If we click on photos, it will open the uh, app again. And from here, you can access the photos on your mobile device. And at the top, you can see the current wallpaper of your phone, the name on your phone, the currently connection status, and the battery level. As a result of this new integration, if you go to the personalization section on the settings app, and then if we go to start, you're going to find a new show mobile device in a star setting. And from here, you can enable or disable that sidebar if you don't like it. So as you can see now, the sidebar has been disabled. And if you want to turn it on, enable this option and and it might take a few tries, but as you can see now the feature has been enabled. Sidebar for mobile devices is currently available for Android phones, but the company plans to bring the support to iPhone devices in future updates. As part of the uh, notification improvements, you can now turn off the Toast notification that suggests different actions and you can do this from the actual notification menu or you can go to settings and then go to system and then from the notifications page, you should find a new option to turn that off, which is this one right here. Part of the uh, new features coming to Windows 11 version 24H2, Microsoft is updating the Windows Sandbox experience. So if you have that feature turned on, the next time you open the Windows Sandbox feature, it will actually get an update and now it will download it from the Microsoft Store. And in addition, from this experience now being updated through the Microsoft Store, the virtualization experience now includes support for clipboard redirection, audio and output controls, and the ability to share folders with the isolated version of Windows 11. And you're going to find those features through this new menu right here. And as you can see from here, we can go full screen, set up a share folder, and enable or disable clipboard redirection and input for audio and video. If we go to the settings tab and then we go to storage, more specifically to the disks and volumes page. If you work with virtual hard drives, now going to the properties, you will find a new option to detach the BHD. In the past, we only have the option to attach the BHD and then if we needed to detach that virtual hard drive we actually needed to go to disk management and from here we needed to use the detach option but that's no longer the case because now we have it on the settings app. So for some reason on my installation it's not currently available but in the next update for Windows 11, you're going to notice that if you go to the Wi-Fi settings and you try to show the password, 
the interface to show you that information will now use an updated interface that matches the design language of Windows 11. Finally, if we go to the settings app and then we go to personalization and then we go to the text input. Now we're going to notice that we have a new customized Copilot key on keyboard option. And basically this option is for those new devices that shipped with a physical key to access Copilot. However, because Microsoft have removed that integration, that key on the keyboard doesn't do anything anymore. And one quick fix that Microsoft is doing is adding the option to remap that key to something else. For example, you can change that behavior to open search and you can customize that key to open another application when you select the custom option. And here you're going to find all the applications that are compatible to be remapped to that Copilot key. So it is important to note that you can only select apps that you acquire from the Microsoft Store or they were signed using the M6 package format, meaning that many of the other applications that you might have installed on your computer, such as Chrome, Firefox, VLC, and others, will not be available to be open through the Copilot key. Then you just need to select the app and click the select button. That's it. Those are the upcoming features coming to devices already upgraded to Windows 11 version 24H2. Another thing that I wanted to point out, there is not a specific release date for the new AI features. However, the AI features will require a Copilot Plus PC. So that means that if you upgraded from version 23H2 to 24H2, you are likely not be able to see many of the new features using AI, such as Recall, Studio Effects, and many others. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.